welcome and welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel. This is Eric Tenag's press conference reaction. Get involved in the comments and don't forget to smash that like button. The message I got from the press conference, and it still remains the same, we're going into this game to win it. What was your thoughts on the press conference? Well, uh, he was going on about the win, the significance of it. Champions League football, that's the goal. That's what it means to him, getting the three points against Tottenham, top four, and also the significance in having the games in hand. He clearly wants the win and he's going for it. Yeah, he did say that we've got to be on the front foot going into battle and he is expecting a battle. Yeah, he's expecting Spurs to have a bounce back. Uh, he alluded to United, how resilient they are in bouncing back and he expects something of the same from Tottenham Hotspur. But he's got a plan. Uh, and he's going to sort it out. He's not going to let them bounce back uh, like we have done, but he is aware of what Spurs have to do. Bounce back, big club, they want it. They've got Harry Kane and they've got a plan for Harry Kane as well. So uh, he is on the lookout for a certain bounce back. Yeah, I don't think you like the comment too much from uh, Simon Stone, the reporter, when he was like alluding to that we've bounced back many times. He sort of gave him a little bit of a stare when he finished his questioning, especially when he alluded to, well, even the great teams have had to bounce back like Real Madrid. And I think Simon Stone said, well, not that I can remember. I don't know if it was a comment that he got caught off guard with and that was his response, but it wasn't very clever though, was it, from Simon Stone? No, uh, he, he did get caught off guard by it. Uh, but I actually thought the press today were very muted. And that's because what I think with United winning uh, the semi-final, uh, there's nothing to go at. They have bounced back. They have been resilient. And Ten Hag did point it out to him. Uh, but Simon Stone went at him uh, and he battered it off. Uh, and yeah. there was nothing else coming back from him. It was uh, an interesting, light-hearted uh, media uh, today. Yeah. Uh, and I think the fact is, is because the gutted that United have improved and bounced back and are now in a cup final. So, Ten Hag, upbeat, looking forward to it, batted everything off. Yeah, I think they want the negativity for clicks. And, yeah, without uh, a doubt. Writing articles so it can take up every inch of the newspapers. But he, he was asked also about Bruno Fernandes. Uh, I have seen some reports as well online, like I'm sure most of you have. And the reports are that he's not got his protective boot on and he is actually walking around. But what did you make from what Eric Tenag said? He didn't really give us any updates on it. Uh, you know, it, as far as Tenag is concerned, he's not too worried about it. It doesn't sound too serious. Not sure of a return, whether it'll be this Sunday. Not even sure that he'll uh, be uh, in the squad against Spurs. It Do you just, think it, it could be mind games, though, that... Do you, what do you think? Do you think it could be mind games towards like the Tottenham team? You know, they could be expecting, you know, our, our, one of our bigger name players in the team. Great player, Bruno. And if they think that he's not going to be playing, then, you know, an hour before kickoff, they see Bruno Fernandes on the team sheet. Does that sort of give him a bit of a downer? I'm not too sure. Well, you, you, you look at it, if it is mind games, which possibly could be, yeah. uh, then he's, uh, he's going into the Fergie era. Uh, he's coming out with some cracking mind games. If Bruno turns up on that pitch, against Tottenham Hotspur, it'd be fantastic mind games. Uh, and he's learning, Ten Hag, if that's the case. But he never gave any update or never indicated that it was a serious injury, yeah. which is good for us, mm. whether it's mind games or not, because mm. uh, Bruno coming back, and if he does come back, uh, hopefully for Sunday against Aston Villa, then that's a big, big game because Villa are coming. Yeah. Uh, they're coming. They what they want European football. So with a bit of luck, hope it's not too serious. Doesn't sound too serious. Uh, Bruno should be back by uh, the Villa game. But I will be one certainly happy person who'll fall out the chair if I see that Bruno in that squad uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, I do like Tanag's press conferences. He's got that steel about yes, him. Yes, proper. And, and like I say, it's very hard to read him sometimes as well. Yeah. But with Bruno there, he did allude to that he suffered that injury in the first half of that yes. game. So, you know, what, what does that say about Bruno's character, you know, leadership that he still carried on with an injury, wanting to win that game and help his team get to the final? Well, you can look at some players uh, in the Premier League, and I'll say the Premier League, that as soon as they get a little knock, yeah. uh, first excuse, when the going gets tough, uh, they're off. Bruno cracks on with it. But yeah. to be honest with you, uh, I think there's one or two players 
in the squad what have been playing with little niggles, uh, little niggles. Mm. Bruno just epitomises what it means to some of those players, what it means playing for Manchester United. Uh, he carried on, uh, eventually had to come off, but uh, let's hope it doesn't uh, affect him long-term going forward. We do need him back. We need his energy. We mm. need his enthusiasm uh, and, and, and his ability uh, to put the ball through uh, for players running onto it is just immense. So let's hope he gets back. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more questions, to be honest with you, on the Manchester United squad, because he's a player there. I'm not too sure what's wrong with him, Scott McTominay. Does anyone know out there yeah. what's wrong with Scott McTominay and yeah. this injury? Because I've still yet to find anything out on him and why he's been out the last couple of weeks. See, it is strange and I've heard, I've heard nothing uh, and, and he's a big player for Manchester United without a shadow of a doubt and there's been a lot of talk uh, about him possibly moving, which I, I, I don't believe anyway. Uh, but the thing is, <laughs> we seem to be having a lot of no news on injuries and it just seems to be consistent. The way Manchester United are handling these players and the news outlet mm. and the way it's coming out, uh, we're not getting it. And to be honest with you, we should be getting updates on players' fitness, mm. on players' injuries and that. Uh, not just for our channel, yeah. but just as a, yeah. just as well, a fan. Well for us as a community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for us as a community. As a fan, yeah. I want to hear how players are progressing out in, with their injuries and, uh, and the treatments. Uh, but with Scott McTominay, uh, it's a, it's an absolute mystery, to be honest with you. What's going on? Yeah, on that note, I think we might have to uh, maybe do a video at Carrington at some point. You know, stand Ooh. on the corner. Can you get outside Carrington? Get the camera set up. Uh, get, get the, the police. No, listen. They'll get the police if we turn up at Carrington. Should we give it a try? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, below let us know. Yeah, if you want us to do uh, a reaction to Ten Hag's press conference at Carrington. And I'm sure we'll uh, be able to arrange that at some point before the end of the season. But just let us know in the comments and let us know if you think they'll get the police or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or would you like us to go at any time and do one there? So that's not a bad thing, well, yeah. turning up at Caddington. But please choose a nice day, not when it's raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A anything you want us to do, just get it in the comments below. You're yeah, all yeah. subscribers, viewers, you're all a part of the community. So yeah, uh, you just let us know. But the good thing is, though, there was no updates in terms of any more injuries he obviously mentioned Varane Martinez and yeah. obviously we're not too sure about Bruno but everything yeah. else seems rosa yeah he, it was a very confident bubbly uh interview what well the answers he gave mm -hmm. and the way he was relaxed and everything else like that, it's like everything's happy in the camp yeah. and to be honest with you I'll just look at that back four we've got I'm happy with that mm. and I, and I think Ten Hag uh, he's happy with it. I don't think he's worried in any way whatsoever that the players will go out there and do the job. And as he said, they will be resilient. They've come back and they're now going for that top four spot and it's Champions League and everyone wants Champions League and he's determined to get it. Uh, I, I absolutely like how relaxed he was, which is a good thing because it, that then transfers to the rest of the squad. So going forward, if he's relaxed, I'm relaxed. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And he's happy, so I'm happy. Yeah, and we're all happy. Yeah. Ten Hag's happy, we're all happy. Yeah. Are you happy? I'm happy. Good. Just before we go, I did see a, a few pictures online and a few details about um, an under-18s player, French player. Uh, signed him a couple of years ago, centre-half he is, and he was signed under John Murto when we bought the likes of Garnaccio, Fernandez, Juardo, um, Aaron Olsen. And apparently this Willie Camwalla if I've got his name right, if, I'll put it in the description below, um, it was meant to be one of the best ones out of that group that we signed. So if any of you out there know any more on him or have seen any videos or anything and you want to get involved in that chat in the comments below, please get involved yeah. because I've read a few articles today and there's quite a lot of rave reviews on him. Like I say, he's only 18 years old, but over the last couple of years, he has suffered some injuries. So I think that did set him back a bit, but he's been coming into the Man Manchester United Academy, been playing games over the last few weeks, few months, and he's been getting rave reviews and he's been in the first team squad today training. So that's good to see going forward, especially under the manager, Eric Ten Hag, and yeah. the coaching staff that we've got. Yeah, I've actually not heard of this kid and obviously no, not. through the injuries yeah, yeah. and that, you know what I mean? So it'd be interesting to find out from you, right, what you know of him. So yeah. get it in. Let us know what's going on and, and we'll uh, try and give a, a little update on uh, what is going on with him, uh, yeah. whether he is in the squad, uh, how he's been doing and all that. So it'll be interesting to find out. Maybe do that up update from Carrington. Yes. Yeah, with the police behind us. Yeah. We'll on definitely the... keep that on record though. Trust me if they turn up. We'll be on the trading pitch. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> Dad, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Cross it. Yeah. Cross it. <laughs> yeah. Get out my way. Then fluff it. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Obviously, get involved in the comments below in what we've discussed today and your own opinions as well as always. Subscribe if you've not already done so. It really helps us, helps the channel and just gets you all involved. And press that notification because we'll be back straight after the game against Spurs with the three points. And a top four spot secure or nearly secured. There you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.